Oh, oh, there he is. Another one. Oh, wow. He's a little bigger. He ate that. <gasps> Dude. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. There's one, two, three fish behind it. Oh, 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 oh. And he ate it. Got it. Oh, it's a solid smolly, I think. Oh, I'm breathing it in, soaking it in, because I'm returning to a spot that five years ago kind of changed my channel, changed uh, some of the way I was fishing. And five years ago, this is the area. This is, I'm going to the exact spot that I first time ever used a Nico Helgramite. Here it is. The water's a little bit low. It's not all the way high. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to walk around. This place has got really good smallmouth fishing, but it is by far one of the toughest places to wade around due to the rock structure and how slippery it is. If you don't know, this right here is a Nico Helgramite. This is the obsidian color. Now, when I, the first color I ever used was the natural. Not quite as dark as this, but I really like this dark one. It's a three inch, very strong, stretchy material. I've, I don't, I couldn't even begin to count how many fish I've caught. Plus when I started using it, it allowed me to fish a different way. And it's just the perfect lure for clear, rocky streams like this. Cause this is what these fish look for and they love to eat. Now this is the three inch one, but we're not going to be using that one today. Now that's a good one. Today we have the big brother. This is the 4.25 inch and it really looks a lot bigger in person and i've used it a little bit i've caught some good fish on it but i really haven't used it in these same streams that i first started using the three inch one does it work as well will it catch as many fish it's a little bit heavier it's a little easier to cast and i'm gonna hook it up the same way that i've first ever hooked up the uh the first time i ever caught my first smallmouth on it and the first smallmouth i was standing like right over there i made a cast and caught like a two and a half pound smallmouth, and I just took a hook and stuck it through the top. So we're gonna start out with the 4.25 inch. We're gonna have to wait around a little bit, dodge a few snakes, but it's gonna be fun. That's a lot of, that's a pretty good lure. And especially for smallmouth bass, you know, a lot of them don't have a huge mouth, but I know there's big smallmouth in here. And what we're gonna do, I've done this a little bit, but I haven't done it in a river where I'm just gonna hook it through the top um, and we're gonna, should be able to cast it, it should be able to float, yeah. So we're gonna float it and skip it across like that. And I think fish are gonna come up and whack it. It barely goes under the water, but it, it's just kinda sits right on the uh, surface where the fish are looking up and they see just something sitting there. Oh, and oh, I got a hit, I got a hit. That was cool. I saw something barely. Oh, there's a turtle right by my foot. That was weird. That turtle startled me. It came right by my legs, but I did have a hit. I saw it and I felt it for just a second. I might have to let him eat this. I know there's a lot of small, small bass in here. And of course they're gonna chomp at it but I, I think it's gonna take a little bit bigger one to, to, to get the more, the better hookups. Oh, is that a follower? Or no, oh, 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 I see something looking at it. I got, I got one, I don't even think it's a small mouth. I think it's a large mouth. Maybe it is. Here he comes, here he comes. There you go, he ate it. Got him. That was really cool. I watched that whole thing happen. Oh, that's not even a smiley but it worked. I had to slow it down for him. I watched him kind of take his time and he came and ate it. 
made sure he got it in his mouth. Then boom, we got him. That's a large mouth. That's cool. That was pretty quick. He's skinny though. Man, he's not the healthiest looking one. Like right there. Oh, oh, there he is. Another one. Oh, wow. He's a little bigger. And it's not a small mouth again. He ate that. <gasps> Dude. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. There's one, two, three fish behind it. I don't know if you can see those. There's a, that's a, that's like a three-pound largemouth. There's a small mouth, a couple small mouth. They came out of nowhere. Let's get this guy released. Oh, he's got a weird lip thing. That's not a bad fish though. His lip is all messed up. Dude, there's so many fish in here. Oh, there he is. There's a small mouth right in front of me. He, they, they don't even know what happened. All right, stay still, stay still. Stay there, stay there, don't move. Let me get my lure back. They knocked that lure off. Okay, there he is, there he is, I see him. He's not a big small mouth, but I see him, let's see. And, oh, well, he spooked off a little bit. He must've saw the other one get caught by it. Oh. Well, the water's gonna raise and it's gonna affect me just oh oh i had a hit it's gonna affect me just a little uh, i'm already kind of upstream so it'll come up a little bit here so i'll still should be able to get around what was that one something oh you got it oh i got him oh no i don't got him oh he came back for it got him again Oh, he missed it again. I should have just let him eat it. That was a smallie. He was solid. He hit it twice. I think he felt the hook that second time. Oh, 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 oh. And he ate it. Got it. Oh, it's a solid smallie, I think. I was walking and I just saw him come over and get it. That's what we're looking for. Oop. Come here. He just, I'm just skipping it down through these rocks. He came from somewhere. It's a good fish, that's a good fish. Oh, oh man, I thought I had him. Holy cow, he's getting bigger, he's getting bigger. How is he still doing this? Get over here. He got so many different levels of fighting. Dude, that's a nice smallie. That's a nice small mouth. Get out there. There we go. Ooh, I like it. He's not a really fat one, but a pretty and pretty wide body on it. It's at least a 16 incher, I think. Here he goes. Wow, that was cool. That's what we're looking for. Man, we've already got some good fish. Oh, there we go. I just saw something take it under. <laughs> nice. Come here, little guy. Oh, there's another large mouth right in front of me. Dude, there's fish showing up everywhere. 
Oh, long, skinny. Smally. Hold still. Hold still. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's a skinny guy. Well, he don't have that big a mouth. He ate it easy. Uh, the water's coming up. It's getting a little deeper to walk around. Maybe why these fish start moving around a little bit more. It's just getting deeper in all these little channels. Oh, oh, there goes the smallie. Oh, he's chasing the fish away. So I might be able to catch this guy. He just came out of this little crevice. I don't know how big it was. He chased a fish away. Where'd he go? Oh, he's looking at my lure. Here he comes, here he comes. And strike. Ah, oh, it's too little. He's come back, he's come back. Strike again. Oh, got him that time. He ate the whole thing that time. Thank you for coming back. Oh, he's a little bigger than I thought. These fish, you just don't know how big they are. Every time. They're like sliding around these rocks, which the rocks kind of look smaller, but they're actually big old rocks. He's a little darker one. He's been hiding under a, a rock here somewhere. Well, it's getting to the uh, much more difficult part. It's already difficult just walking around, and now it's getting to extra difficult, where now I'm going up this current where the boulder's a little bit more jagged, and uh, I gotta go, I wanna go up a little ways because there's, there's like one more, one or two more like little deep pools that can hold a fish. Any of these areas can hold a fish, but for the most part, they kind of stay in their deeper channels um, at least a little bit bigger ones. And I've only gone 500 yards total, maybe less than that. But this like next 100 yards is like the hardest part. So, so don't blame me if you come here and break your leg, slip and fall five times. Cause that's, I, I'm sure that's how I'm gonna, what's gonna happen to me one of these days. It's like gonna, I fall all the time. Haven't yet today, but I mean, it, it could happen at any moment. I have to walk really, really slow, really secure your feet, like where you put them, make sure it's solid. Um, just take your time getting around, which is why it's, this place is like an hour from me and it's awesome in the summer, but it is work. You can't kayak it, you can't float it because it's, it's, there's like, it's just the way it is. You can really only wade through here. And you can really only fish it when the water's at a right level. So there's a lot of things that go into it. And um, a lot of things make it tough, but then again, the fishing is worth it. Caught me a turtle. Oh, he don't like it. Oh, oh! I saw a smallmouth come up and look at it. All right, we're gonna have to go deep on this one. The top, I don't think it's gonna work. I saw a, a look like a decent sized smallmouth come up, look at it and then go back down his channel down in there. This has worked pretty, really well. It's been fun to see fish come up and get it. Now, have I caught every fish? No, I've, I've lost several that were smaller. Um, would I have caught bigger fish if I was sinking it down in the channel? Maybe. I definitely think it's the situation for this channel because I saw uh, a good smallmouth that looked like come up and look at it and then go go back down. I want this lure to bounce around down there and that fish to really get a hold of it before I set the hook. I don't want an exposed hook. And um, I think this will I think this will get the job done. I saw a fish, there's usually some in here when it's when it's hot like this. They get in these holes and they get pretty uh, active. So maybe one or two, 
maybe nine, but I think we'll get at least one out of there. Where are these guys at? There's one. There's one. Good one. I think staying down. What? What? Is, what is that? It's a solid fish, but I think it's a spot. Oh no, no, get other. All right, got one. Hey, that's actually a nice fish. Unfortunately, it's a spotted bass. And they're kind of, I don't know, he's not real big. I don't know if he's in Kentucky or Alabama. The Alabamas are getting in these waterways. But he's solid and fat. Um, I, I fished that big deep hole. Thought I had a couple of heads. Fished this deep hole. And it's the first bite of, uh, first uh, fish I've caught with the jig head. So, I don't know. I wonder if it's the size or, I thought there was fish in there. But that's a solid little fish right there. He bit it. Got it? Oh, he bit it like two, three times. It's just too small, I think. There's one. I had to throw it down there several times. That's a little smiley. It's like they were being real hesitant to eat it. Hey, hold on, hold on. Pretty one there. Figured I'd flip over a few rocks and like three rocks in. I believe that's a little bitty Helger mite. Yeah, it is. Look at its uh, head. That guy's not even an inch long. But it's like third rock I flipped over. And uh, that's why they like it. So. I want to do one more thing I wasn't planning on doing. So it's been five years. I'm pretty sure five, maybe six, but I'm pretty sure it's been five years since the first time I used a three inch Helger mite. Now picking up a three inch one looks so small, but I remember how many fish I used to catch on this guy. And I, I mean, still do, I use it. And now I really have, I know how I want to fish this lure, the rod, reel, line, and I'm ready to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I, fish the three in even though i'm still working on how to really fish the 4.25 not that there's a wrong way because there's you can do it a lot of ways but we're gonna go one tenth ounce hook this is the z-man bullet z three inch nico helgramite i hook it in the top ow Ooh, this hook sharp and i come out the side i push it around and um, the Nico stuff's really strong, so it'll push over that little stop there. And it's gonna hold it up here. And then I take this hook and I go sideways. I guess we're going about the second little rib down. Push it straight through, pop it out on the other side. And we have a hook sticking out, but it's basically weedless. I may be off a little bit on that one. Of course, you can stretch it to kind of get it in place. Yeah, that's about right. I want it kind of straight, maybe tuck it in just a hair, tuck it into the hook. Now, I like doing it like that because I think it helps, I feel like it helps the the uh, helder might kind of twist and turn and, and drift. But also, this is a three inch. It catches big fish, but it also catches those smaller ones. So. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. And this is my favorite setup, a 6'9", medium. This rod's a uh, fast. I like an extra fast or a fast rod, either 6'9 to 7 foot. 2,500 size Shimano Miraville Reel. This is a Shimano Zodius rod. I got 10 or 15 pound braid. 
and I have a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader line that's about, uh, it's only like five foot long now because I trimmed it down, but I usually start with about 10 foot of it. All right, let's see, uh, let's see how well this thing does. I've talked a lot about it, I made a lot of videos on it. Let's put it to the test again today. Oh, uh, there's another spot, I think. Oh, there we go. Back to back cast. Back to back small fish. That's a smallie there. These are the fish I think I was getting a lot of bites from, but uh, weren't hooking up with on the uh, bigger one. Oh, I just threw it in a tree. Oh no, now we're twisted up on the, twisted up on the rocks, twisted up on my reel. Oh, I was what in the world? Deer is out in the middle of the river, ran across. <laughs> you think you're out here by yourself, hear a big old noise and uh, startles you a little bit. <clears throat> Fish on. And I'm trying not to sink over here. I just stepped in a sinkhole. What we got here? Pretty smally. I haven't come across a deep hole in a while. It's just kind of spread out through here. I don't even know if I've been through here. I think maybe one time I came through here before. Um, he's got a bunch of little parasites and stuff on him. Ew, it doesn't look great. What is that? Holy cow. That's a rock bass. Oh, that is a giant rock bass. Oh my goodness. I thought that was going to be a big smiley. Come on. It's getting deep right here. There should be something. Something right here, ready to eat. We got current, we got deep channel. There's a good one. Took me a while to get him to bite. Kind of had to twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. Spot. Nice spot. There's a log going in right here off this current. I cast it in there several times and I just kept working it, working it, working it. Only got that about, got a bite. came off I was gonna try to end it out with one fish oh what do we got to end the day with 
just a bluegill, which is actually a cool, really good sized bluegill. Yeah, that's a pretty bluegill. Man, my back is uh, pretty sore right now. It is hard on my back. I don't know if it's hard, if it's everybody's back or what, but whenever I come up to this area, especially when I'm waiting, it's just, you're, you're tense. You're so tense and tight. Like you do not, you can't not relax. You can't relax your legs, or your back muscles, or you know, maybe I need to get a stronger abdomen or something like that. But um, like I'm sliding around, you're stepping on different rocks. Um, it's, it's like a workout for sure. But I'm glad it's over and I can I can head up this hill and walk back to railroad tracks. Pretty easy, probably about a mile walk back. Maybe not even that. But I did a lot of exploring towards the end. Didn't catch as many fish here um, after uh, after the first two hours. It was like really good. Then uh, next hour, hour and a half, I kind of explored, walked, tried new places. But I got some ideas to come back. May come back and do some topwater fishing and uh, maybe a little bit later in the year. It's it's hot, you know, it's almost summer. And, but these fish, they're like, a, like these, these streams are colder stream and it always takes them a little longer. So I was excited to see that they were biting right off the bat. And as far as the Helger mites, I have a discount code uh, for Nico and I'll leave it in the video description. I'll try to leave a link to the hooks. Um, but like, I don't know what's the best way to hook it or if there is a best way. And also it depends on how you fish, where you fish. But I did like skipping it across the top, and I think that's going to come in handy for smallmouth and for largemouth over top of grass mats. Um, but they were coming up and hitting that pretty cool. So that was, that was kind of fun to try out and that it worked out. Thanks for watching.